Hey, it's been a while. Today, we'll be playing a little bit of Warzone and we'll be talking about the current state of COD, where it's going, and where I've been. So let's hop into it. All right, let me pick where I'm dropping really quick. Map, if you would uh, work for me, please. I'm gonna try to go over here. But uh, well, let's start with uh, where I've been. Uh, I got all the camos done. I got Orion on everything. We got Polytomic on everything. All the camos are complete. And normally, this is where I'm like, you know, what do we do now? And it's like, oh, now you get to play the game. I'm like, what? A what is there to play? I'm gonna hop in and play shoe house and shipment. Just TDM, dumb, whatever. Like there really isn't a whole lot to do in this game. Yeah, I haven't really played Warzone. I haven't really played DMZ. So we're trying that out today. Uh, last time I played Warzone, uh, at least solos, it was me just leveling up weapons and having a good time messing with people in prox chat. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do today. And if we get a win in the process, hey, that's a, that's a little cherry on top. Wait, let me grab some guns really quick because somebody's landing near me. Don't you try anything. Watch this. Throw the decoy out there. Fake him out. I have no idea. I just got XP for it, so I know we got distracted by it. He's up here. Moving. Might need to censor that because we are very early into the video. Gotta love YouTube, am I right? What was your plan? Wait for me to walk out? Maybe still had some money on him. Nope. Didn't even spawn with money. Broke from birth. But back to what I was saying, it's kind of been hard for me to even like play this game. I don't really know what to do i mean we mentioned before in previous videos that you know i would start out on uh doing the mastery challenges for all the weapons and do like the thousand kills with those i started with the knife and i streamed it a bit also shout out to you guys that come by the streams really do appreciate it but it was kind of boring not gonna lie like the, the stream parts are not boring i always love hanging out with you guys stop shooting me who's shooting me oh, i see you, you little fuck. like if I was doing it without streaming, I'd be bored out of my mind. Because you're literally just walking around killing people. I mean, it's all good and fun for a while. But it's like, you don't really get too much out of it. At least when I'm doing it to grind camos. Or like, doing camo challenges. I know I'm going to get a cool camo at the end of it. For this, I'm getting like a, a calling card or an emblem. The, or even a weapon charm that I don't really care about. I'm just doing it to kind of do it, you know? And I feel like that's going to get really boring and really repetitive. Like, pretty quick. And I think I'll just save that kind of stuff oh, for stream. Okay. I see you. Do you see me though? I do see you. What, what, what am I wearing? Haha. <laughs> You're wearing green panties. A nice sweater. Yeah? What else? Well, that might not be you then. Take your panties off for me, please. Dude, what the heck? There's two of you guys. Wait, are you guys both? What panties is he What's wearing? Because I'm wearing red. He's wearing green. Buy green. Okay, well now he's wearing uh, funeral clothes because he's dead. But we can talk this out. I know. What's up? How you been doing? Dude, I got I got two people on me right now, bro. Okay. Let me live. I'm a small little boy. You still living over there or what? I think our friend might be deceased. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the mastery challenges. That just seems like a fun thing to do for a stream, you know? It's like mindless activity, just mess around on there, but like. I'm just doing it because it's something to do, some long form stuff that I can stream. But for the most part, it took way longer than I thought it would. Like you see a thousand kills, you're like, oh, whatever, shipment's out. That'll be easy. And for the most part, it's just if you're if shipment is out, it just takes like 10 games or something like that. If you're doing really well, like you're getting 100 kills a game. But you guys have seen me play multiplayer. You know that I'm going negative a majority of the time. So it don't always work out how I plan it. But I mean, it was still a, a little bit of fun to goof around with the knife, you know, mess around, get some uh, some nice clips going. Because in our, our first stream we did with it, I was popping off on Shoe House. I was dropping like high kill games with just the knife, which was a lot of fun. But after a while, it's like, oh, I'm still just doing this. Ooh. No. Sorry, dude. And I guess it kind of brings me into the next point is like, what is Cot doing? Like, there isn't... A whole lot going on in this game. This is supposed to be like the next best COD with, you know, all the greatest hits. I'm making it sound like a now that's what I call music album. But it really is. It's This is Modern Warfare 2. This is supposed to be like the paying homage to the previous Modern Warfare 2. You know, one of the most notable CODs of all time. One of the most popular CODs of all time. And this COD is one of the best selling CODs of all time. And it feels like a lot of people have just stepped off this game waiting for new content like since like halfway through season one because what do we get shoe house and shipment we've had those maps a bunch of times before well at least shipment shoe house making a return kind of cool but it's like this isn't new like this isn't new stuff what are us as players supposed to do oh shit i'm being chased no i'm not i'm paranoid like for me i don't really care a whole lot about like 
getting war zone wins and stuff like that i never have i always just hop on here to you know chill with the boys goof around dick around you know mess with people in prox chat like that's probably the best part about this game if it didn't have prox chat i probably wouldn't even be playing war zone this helicopter needs to fuck off he's like circling me is he landing out of here no fuel for you oh hit armor on that one what's blood waffing about you're gonna come back here because i got a nade for you i think he left us alone no he didn't i lied watch this come on back i'm gonna give you the craziest nade throw of my life i probably shouldn't have wasted all that ammo i literally have none now but i guess there's also dmz uh it's cool or whatever dmz's all right i'm not like the biggest fan of it i think it's nice that they're doing something different but i can't really get myself to play the mode because it's just like what am i playing for i don't really care to do all the faction missions stop shooting me knock it off like the faction missions kind of seem like a waste of time i mean not really a waste of time i guess it is something to do in the mode but i they don't really interest me too much if that makes sense because kind of just like get this paper exfil go to this area do something i guess i can't complain too much since i'm not even like attempting it maybe I, i'm gonna give it a try so i can't really say too much about it but nothing's really like kind of coerced me into going into the mode besides trying it out when it was new i think some sort of i, I guess what i'm saying is i really like grindables in cod and if they had some sort of grindable in dmz that was like fulfilling to get besides an extra like weapon slot an insured weapon slot then i might play it like like if they added camos to dnz with like objective based challenges i'd be all over it I, like i don't know how exactly they would do it because i really wouldn't want them to be kill based because then it would just turn dmz into team deathmatch which i think would be kind of boring because i kind of like the camaraderie that comes with the the dmz mode like you can run into some nice people in there like you can goof around with them for a bit they'll help you out with whatever challenges you're working on but if it just becomes like get this many kills in dmz i think that all goes away and it kind of ruins that mode but in some of the leaks and just some of the stuff they've actually released about uh season two it seems somewhat promising like they're adding a little bit like i think we're getting like the castle map from vanguard oh shit oh he he ditched the car oh yeah he's all the way over here if only i had a sniper he'd be done i don't think i can aim this accurately enough at range Okay. gonna have to though gonna have to go for some cover too there you go panic run around oh is your shield broken there's a stun oh keep him stunned while i'm self-reviving okay it didn't work damn i threw we still got google Log though our game's not over and outside of like that castle map i think we're getting two new weapons one's a crossbow which i am excited about that's different uh normally we just get like an ar or smg sometimes a sniper rifle like we get some of the main popular weapons or weapon types in the game and a crossbow is really fun and different and i'm curious to see how the camo is going to be for that because i wonder if they're going to make it long shots for it or like for for the platinum challenge or if it's going to be classified under like some new weapon class because like in cold war it was melees and specials and we don't really have a special class in this it's kind of just like primary melee with the riot shield and secondary melee with the knife i wonder if they're gonna make it like a battle rifle a marksman rifle somewhere around those lines uh, it'll be cool to see it and i'm gonna be really mad if trophy systems take out their bolts that will be frustrating all right gulag time still duos i think they're making this into uh, into solos the next season which i'm excited about i hate duos there's no point in having a, a duo gulag in this Ooh, no place 155th is there really that many people in this and i died that early i felt like i was doing decent i had four kills i was alive for a long time there's only 35 people left what do you mean 155th you're lying zero match xp oh this game you gotta love it not that i need any xp maybe that's because i am max level and they didn't give me xp but if that was just dumb it gave me no xp because i thought i was 155th I'd be pissed if I wanted to try to level up. I think they're also adding gun game and gun fight, like 2v2 gun fight, which is sick. And they're adding a hardcore back in. And I saw a lot of people hyped about that. And it's cool. Hardcore's coming back. I was mainly a hardcore player up until this year. But I don't like how much praise they got for adding in a mode that's supposed to be here at launch into season two. Like same with gunfight. I feel like that should have been a launch title like game mode in the game. It should have been something we could do from the jump. Like even Vanguard had a whole new gunfight mode, a whole new tournament in the beta. 
in the beta. The, the closest thing we have to gunfight right now in the game is the Kulak. I'm not trying to be a COD hater. I, I don't want to be one of those guys that turns like the whole channel into like COD is dead. COD is dying. Have you seen the Steam player graph? Like I, I, I love this game. I love this franchise. I've been playing it for four years. It's it's changed my life in terms of being a content creator for it. I just want it to do better. I want it to be better. I, I hate that we're getting less and less stuff every year and expecting to be excited about it like months after like the game releases to get the content we should have had at launch. I feel like that's not like out of the normal. I feel like that's not some crazy opinion that that I have. So I just want to play this game and have fun. And there's not a whole lot of things to do to head, play the game and have fun outside of the camel grind. But in the meantime, while I've been waiting for new content to drop, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. Please don't freeze on my game. Thank you. But I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. It's my first Souls type game. So uh, it's been a big learning curve, but I got it probably less than a week ago. And I have like almost 40 hours into it. So that tells you how much I've been enjoying it. And I did post a video on it. Uh, Kind of different, haven't really posted games outside of COD on the channel in a long time. So I was a little nervous to do it, a little scared, but I think this is the year that I do some stuff that uh, is a little out of my comfort zone. You know, I want to do things that make me scared. I don't want to get comfortable because your comfort zone will kill you. So I don't want to be doing stuff that I, I don't like to do constantly just because that's what works. You know, I don't want to just play a game because that's that's the game that got me popular. I want to I want to play what I like to play, you know? And I'll still be playing COD. I just wanted to be better. I wanted to do better. And I want to be better. And I want to do better. And I want to push myself creatively. And I feel like sometimes in COD, when there's not a whole lot going on, I end up doing the same stuff over and over again. I'm kind of crippling myself creatively. And then the process is a lot less fun than it was. Who the fuck's throwing nades? Knock that off. Okay, somebody just died very close by. Let's see if we can catch them looting. So nade blew up right there. It had to have been thrown like from this building, I would think, right? Or next door. Next door for sure. Let's try this. Oh, I thought I had a drill charge still. All right, chill. Relax. There we go. Broken armor. My armor's broke too. So let me fix that. Let's throw another decoy in this corner. So he thinks that's where I'm peeking from. Oh! Okay, well, he went all the way around. Smart guy. All right, we got this. Easy. As long as I'm not using a revolver, it's a W. This guy's mic is insane. Oh, there we go. What's going on, pal? Come here. I'm gonna take you and your loud-ass mic out. Okay, never mind. The mic won. And no way I'm 155th again. This gotta be a glitch. I'm not that trash. People, okay, see, no, I placed 94. So I did get scammed in my last game because now I'm getting XP. Actually, you know what? That's the perfect spot to end it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Just want to get my thoughts out there about COD, you know, recently and where it's going and how I'm feeling about it and where I've been. Uh, so I appreciate you guys listening. Uh, as always, uh, I really do appreciate all your support. It means the world to me. Uh, my life has forever changed because of you guys. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Later.